The emergence of the mysterious chronic wasting disease, CWD, also known as the zombie deer disease, has sparked widespread concern and speculation. The vaccination of over 100 million wildlife by the Zuckerberg Foundation was intended to protect them. Yet the unexpected outbreak of CWD in 32 American states and other countries, including Canada, has raised alarming questions, including the potential risks to human health. But should we be worried? Before we dive into today's video, take a moment to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. Be sure to hit that notification button as well, because we have more videos on the way that you cannot afford to miss. Zombie deer disease manifests itself in infected deer as a disturbing mimicry of a zombie-like state, with symptoms including disrupted nervous systems, excessive drooling, lethargy, unsteady gait leading to stumbling and falling, and ultimately culminating in death. What began as an isolated incident in one deer has now escalated into a widespread affliction, affecting thousands of deer across multiple states in the United States and three provinces in Canada. This is not all, as cases have also been reported in Norway, Finland, Sweden, and South Korea. The exact mechanisms through which the disease has proliferated remain shrouded in mystery, as experts scramble to unravel the complex web of factors contributing to its rapid spread. One of the most pressing concerns surrounding the zombie deer disease outbreak is the potential for transmission to humans. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, has refrained from definitively stating that the virus cannot jump from animals to humans, sparking heightened apprehension among the public. The uncertainty surrounding the transmissibility of the CWD has led to fervent debates about the risks posed to human populations, prompting urgent calls for comprehensive investigations and proactive measures to mitigate potential cross-species transmission. While the transmission of the CWD to humans remains a contentious issue, the unpredictability of these types of diseases demands a cautious and vigilant approach. The prospect of a zoonotic leap from infected deer to humans underscores the imperative for rigorous surveillance, robust risk assessment, and the implementation of stringent preventative protocols. The potential implications of the CWD on human health extend beyond immediate concerns of direct transmission. The interconnectedness of ecosystems and the intricate dynamics of disease transmission necessitate a comprehensive evaluation of the broader ecological and public health ramifications. The emergence of the CWD is a sobering reminder of the far-reaching consequences of zoonotic diseases and the imperative for proactive measures to safeguard human and wildlife populations. With the world still reeling from the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, it is understandable that the emergence of this mysterious disease has sparked concerns among people worldwide. The parallels drawn between these two outbreaks, coupled with conspiracy theories surrounding the origins of COVID-19, have fostered a climate of fear and uncertainty. As the threat of the zombie deer disease looms, it is even scarier with the added dimension of the Zuckerberg Foundation's involvement intensifying the unease. The COVID-19 pandemic, which unfolded on a global scale, left an enduring mark on societies, economies, and public health. The sheer scale of infections, loss of lives, and the strain on healthcare systems underscored the vulnerabilities of our interconnected world. As countries grappled with the devastating consequences, conspiracy theories emerged, fueled by fear and the need to find explanations for the unprecedented crisis. Some theories posited that COVID-19 was a deliberately engineered weapon created by powerful entities with sinister motives. Claims ranged from reducing the world population to economic manipulation, geopolitical power plays, and even notions of controlling human behavior through a carefully orchestrated virus. The emergence of the zombie deer disease has not only revived fears rooted in pandemic trauma, but has also added an element of horror reminiscent of apocalyptic fiction. The characteristics of the CWD with infected deer displaying zombie-like behaviors, evoke images that seem plucked from the realms of horror movies. What makes the disease even more unnerving than COVID-19 is its impact on wildlife. The eerie sight of deer stumbling, drooling, and eventually succumbing to the disease creates a narrative that transcends the boundaries of typical disease outbreaks. It taps into primal fears deeply embedded in the human psyche. The fear of the unknown, the fear of uncontrollable threats, and the fear of an adversary that defies conventional understanding. The involvement of the Zuckerberg Foundation, spearheaded by tech magnate Mark Zuckerberg, adds a layer of complexity and anxiety to the zombie deer disease narrative. While the Foundation's initial efforts aimed at vaccinating wildlife appeared commendable, 
the juxtaposition of a well-intentioned initiative with an escalating crisis raises eyebrows. Conspiracy theories, already rife in the aftermath of COVID-19, find new fuel in the association between the Zuckerberg Foundation and the CWD outbreak. Some voices in the public sphere express concerns about ulterior motives, drawing parallels with previous conspiracy theories surrounding COVID-19's origins. Questions emerge about the transparency of the Foundation's actions, leading to heightened skepticism and apprehension among the public. The fear intensifies as people grapple with the notion that a Foundation with significant influence and resources might inadvertently or intentionally contribute to a crisis with unforeseen consequences. The role of powerful entities in shaping global events has become a focal point of public discourse, and the connection to the zombie deer disease outbreak only amplifies existing suspicions. As the CWD continues its unsettling spread, the role of government emerges as pivotal in mitigating the threat and enlightening the public. It's important that mistakes made during the COVID-19 pandemic are avoided. Effective response to this disease begins with early surveillance and monitoring of affected regions. Transparency and open communication from government entities also play a central role in addressing public concerns surrounding the CWD. The dissemination of accurate and accessible information is essential in fostering awareness, promoting responsible practices, and dispelling misconceptions. Education campaigns, initiated and endorsed by government agencies, can serve as powerful tools to enhance public understanding of zoonotic diseases, prudent wildlife interaction, and biosecurity measures. Providing clear, science-based information not only empowers individuals to make informed decisions, but also cultivates a sense of shared responsibility in the collective effort to combat the outbreak. The emergence of the zombie deer disease represents a striking manifestation of the complex and dynamic interplay between human activities and wildlife health. The mysterious nature of the outbreak underscores the imperative for sustained vigilance, collaborative research endeavors, and proactive preparedness to navigate the terrain of this zoonotic threat and any that might want to pop up in the future. Let us know your thoughts about the zombie deer disease outbreak in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel because we have more interesting videos on the way.